Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry early Christmas. It's warm enough today to actually be out here without a sweatshirt or a jacket on. We are about to surprise a woman named Loretta. If you've been to Gandolfo's in Idaho Falls, you've probably seen her. She's the manager there at the store, and she was diagnosed with cancer a few months ago. I want to read you a little bit about Loretta. She's 54 years old, diagnosed with breast cancer. She's already had surgery to remove the cancer. Now she's undergoing cocktail treatments uh, for chemotherapy and will be for several months. She says, I have on my battle of armor so let the battle begin. Now Loretta has a husband who was diagnosed with dementia. We actually surprised him a few years ago. Mr. Pine, can you come on up here? Should we let him open it now or should he wait until Christmas? Right now? Why let it open now? Five thousand dollars. He was a custodian at a local elementary school. He's had to since retire because of his health conditions. So she's caring for her husband with dementia. She's working at Gandolfo's trying to survive and she's now battling cancer. In addition to all of this, she has children and grandchildren that she wants to take care of and Secret Santa wants to take care of her. So we have a check for $15,000 that she can use to help pay her utility bills and anything else she needs. So let's go surprise her. Hello. How are you? Oh my gosh. Are you Loretta? Loretta. Loretta. We yes. went to Gandolfo's looking for you and you weren't there today. <laughs> I forgot I had a doctor's appointment. <laughs> I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How are I, you? I know. I follow you. Do you? I do follow you. Is this your daughter? This is my granddaughter. Your granddaughter? Yes. You're, you couldn't be a grandma. You don't look that old. Well, thank you. <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm okay. Yeah? What's the latest on your, on your cancer prognosis? Uh, so I have six more months of chemotherapy. Um, intensive chemotherapy, so I've already lost my hair and, uh, you know, all that, so. <laughs> but you look healthy, you're feeling good, I, feeling I okay? I feel pretty good this week. I don't have chemo till Thursday, so, you know, come Saturday I won't be so uh, um, chipper, yeah, <laughs> if, you, if yeah. you will. We, we're, we're starting early, Secret Santa this year, and Secret Santa asked us to bring you a gift. You're one of the oh very gosh. first ones oh that gosh. we're surprising. You saw me on the phone? Yes. On the news? Because we watch you all the time. Well, I'm glad you watched. So, I have to tell you a story. Okay. So, um, in 2017, on December 16th, you did a Secret Santa at Edgemont for Mr. Khan. Okay. So, I am actually Mrs. Khan. Mr. Khan, that's right. The, the custodian, right? Yes. yes. And where is he? He actually, he has dementia. Oh, okay. So, I've been taking care of him and working and now dealing with cancer again. So, but I have to tell you that when you guys did that for him, it was um, so amazing because he had been suffering from some things and we had been through cancer before with me and everything and just kind of depressed. And he said that, that gave him so much hope and everything. And then, you know, about a year and a half ago, he got di diagnosed with dementia. So he's, he's been at home and we're taking care of him and everything. So but is he, he's not working anymore? No. He's and he did a lot for that school. He did. He did yeah. a lot. But I just want Secret Santa to know that he appreciated that so much. And we had actually had been through some family things and, and everything just previous to that. And so um, it was we, these little girls, this and her sister, were able to uh, have a very Merry Christmas that year. So. Oh, that's great. Well, I, I had no idea, and I'm glad you shared that with me. So we have a gift for you today, though. Oh my goodness. So he got blessed back in 2017, and Secret Santa asked us to bring that to you today. Oh my gosh. To bring your grandma oh, a gift. Oh my gosh, $15,000? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no joke. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that will come in so handy because I've only been working part time for a while. So, well, hopefully, that can help wherever you need it to help, and you can have a great Christmas. And we hope you beat cancer and you're back to full health soon. Yet. I know we're getting early. Yeah, <laughs> we had to do this early to come and see your grandma. 
So there you go. We're sorry we missed you at the sandwich shop. I'm sorry too, but, but thank you we'll so much. We'll have to come at another time. I'll give you an elbow bump <laughs> and wish you all the best this Christmas. There you go, honey. Can you say thank you to Secret Santa? You want to you say hi into the microphone? Can you say thank you? Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You guys have a good night. Thanks. Thanks. Take care. Thank you.